In the first video of mapping the body, we discussed the different views, body planes, and directional terms. In this video, we will cover the body cavities, quadrants, and regions. Body cavities are spaces within the body that contain vital organs, such as the heart, lungs, and the liver. There are two main body cavities, the dorsal or posterior and the ventral or anterior cavity. There are also three small cavities that we should include. Let's take a look at those first before we move on. The orbital cavity for the eyes, the nasal cavity for the nose structures, and the buccal or mouth cavity for the structures contained in the mouth. Now the dorsal cavity is one long continuous cavity located on the back of the body. It is divided into two sections, the cranial cavity, which contains the brain, and the spinal cavity, which contains the spinal cord. The ventral cavities are larger than the dorsal. The ventral is separated into two distinct cavities by the dome-shaped muscle called the diaphragm. The cavity above the diaphragm is called the thoracic cavity. Located in the chest area, it contains the heart, lungs, and the large blood vessels. Below the thoracic cavity and the diaphragm is what we call the abdominopelvic cavity, which is then further divided into the abdominal cavity and then the pelvic cavity. The upper part, or abdominal cavity, contains the stomach, the liver, gallbladder, pancreas, the spleen, the small intestine, and most of the large intestine. The lower abdominal cavity, known as the pelvic cavity, contains the urinary bladder, the reproductive organs, and the last part of the large intestine. Next, in mapping the body, we'll take a look at the four quadrants. The main purpose is to divide the abdominal cavity into four sections. This is fairly simple and straightforward. They are known as the right upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, left upper, and left lower. Now, it's important to know how right and left of the body is identified. When looking at a diagram of the body on paper, right and left are mirror reflections. In other words, it's not your right or left, it's the right and left of the body that you're looking at. The abdominal cavity is further divided into abdominal regions. There are a total of nine, which are divided into three sections, right, center, and left. Starting on the right, we have the right hypochondriac. The right hypochondriac is located on the abdominal region below the ribs. Let's discuss some of the medical terminology as we go through this lesson. The term hypochondriac is divided as follows. The suffix AC means pertaining to. The word root chondro is cartilage. And the prefix hypo means below. The right hypochondriac is located below the area pertaining to the cartilage of the ribs. Below that, we have the right lumbar region. Lumbar is the area defined by the lumbar vertebrae in the spine, also known as the waist. And below the lumbar, we have the right iliac, or inguinal. This is in the uppermost portion of the three sections of the pelvis, or the groin area. Again, AC means pertaining to, and ilio, or ilium, is the uppermost portion of the three sections of the pelvis. Now, the center section. The epigastric region is located above the stomach. IC means pertaining to, Gastro is the stomach, and epi means above. 
The umbilical region is centered upon the umbilicus or belly button, also called the navel. AL means pertaining to, umbilic means navel. The hypogastric region is located below the stomach. IC is pertaining to, gastro again is stomach, and hypo is below. Now the left section is the same as the right, except on the opposite side. Here we have the left hypochondriac, and it's located in the abdominal region below the ribs. The left lumbar region, again, is related to the area of the vertebrae in the spine known as the lumbar. And now the left iliac is the left side of the groin area. All right now, let's review. Body cavities are spaces within the body that contain vital organs. There are two main cavities and three small ones. The small cavities are the orbital, nasal, and buccal cavities. The two main cavities are the dorsal, which is the back, and the ventral in the front. Dorsal is divided into two sections, the cranial and spinal. Ventral is split into the thoracic and the abdominopelvic cavities. These two are separated by the diaphragm. The abdominal cavity can be broken down in two ways, either by quadrants or regions. The four quadrants are right upper, right lower, left upper, and left lower. It can also be split into three sections or nine regions. Here's a quick look at how this is labeled again. By now, you should have a good idea on how to navigate and identify the parts of the body. We've just covered the cavities, quadrants, and regions. In part one, we discussed the different views, body planes, and directional terms. Thanks for watching and look for the next anatomy and physiology video from ctskills.com in which we'll be covering the integumentary system.